Cautious Hero was a lot of fun, and since I saw it this year, like in January, or at least finished it, I thought it'd be good to talk about for the 12 Days of Anime Day 4. At first, when I tried it, I thought it'd just be like a one joke comedy about an overpowered but cautious main character. Basically what it said in the title. Which it sort of was, but there's a lot more to it than that, and it felt very new and interesting and fun. Both with its comedy and the actual story, because yes, this comedy had a story. The comedy was, well, great. Unlike most of the trapped in a fantasy world type shows, this anime focused on the goddess Ristarte, and, well, she's a lot of fun. She feels a lot like Aqua, actually, though a bit more self-aware. A bit, maybe not a ton. And most to Ristarte's frustration, the main guy, Seiya, basically just wanted to train, wanted to max out any stats he possibly could before he jumped into anything possibly resembling any danger. Much to her frustration. And yes, there was a lot of jokes based on this, but more than that, a lot of the comedy was just based off the conflicting personalities of the characters. Like you Ristarte thinking this is a normal show, wanting to go out and win, and also having feelings for Seiya, and then Seiya wanting to make sure everything was perfectly laid out, perfectly in that control, in that he was perfectly prepared. Yes, that was his catchphrase, which was pretty good. <laughs> in what I liked is just how their personalities meshed, and I liked how we saw how much they cared about each other, even if they would never admit it. Plus, I love the English dub for the show. It was incredible, and that's why I finished it this year, as opposed to last year, even though the dub got a few weeks behind, and that was really frustrating and annoying. And I think my favorite scene, at least the funniest scene, was when they went shopping for swimsuits and just all the places that went. Yeah, that was that was fun. But as good as the comedy is, and yeah, it's good, what really made the show stand out is how the comedy was able to be used for serious storytelling when the show wanted to be. The anime is very smart, like it knows the genre, it knows how this type of story works, and it knows how the mechanics it set up work, and is able to tie them all together in a very interesting way that caught me off guard. One of the great things about comedic storytelling is you're able to hide important details in plain sight where the viewer won't think it's anything serious, only for that detail to be brought back later and then you, and then you understand how the thing actually worked and how important it is and then it gets kind of serious. All this came together to give the show a very impactful ending, far more than I thought of what I assumed would just be another Konosuba knockoff thing. But this ended up standing on its own quite well. Though it needs a season two, which we haven't heard anything about, which is sad. But yeah, fun show. I enjoyed what we got. And so that is the topic for day four of the 12 Days of Anime. And yes, I know I skipped day three. I might go back to that later. I'm not making any promises, though. But yes, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with... I'm not sure yet. We'll find out tomorrow. Thank you for watching.